on my timeline on social media, a lot of people were arguing about the current FA president's tenure. Now, I know there's an election coming up. In October. So, I'm careful not if to... there will be. Yes, I'm careful <laughs> not to be drawn <laughs> into somebody's political agenda to either remove him or maintain him. Certainly. But I still feel that we need to have a discussion about football and sports generally because look at Ghana's black meteors. Almost all our junior national teams have been embarrassed or failed, whether it's a Chan under 21. We are not doing well with the, with the funnel. Right? And then this happened at the time where there's a lot of discussion about the current FA president's tenure. And then you have a deputy sports minister who goes to Morocco to speak about the pitches. Which, which, which comes to, for example, is there a policy guiding sports development? And does the policy say anything about the type of pitches to use? Because in any serious country, there's no thing... For example, last week I was emceeing a program. Sorry, I'm thinking about what I was no I was emceeing a program. This government did something very interesting. 19, 2019, they came up with the automotive development policy. That policy created laws that imposed certain taxes. Three years later, you have eight original equipment manufacturers with about five of them assembling vehicles in Ghana. Almost 5,000 vehicles. So you see policy, law, implementation, result. 2019. And the deputy minister and the minister, uh, this guy, Katie Hammond, he was, he was explaining what they were trying to do. And he was on point. Uh, the bare fee as well. Come to sports. And I'm not trying to attack somebody's business. But if you say you want to develop sports, free. the deputy minister of sports goes to Morocco and he's being shown pitches. And he says, oh, facilities. Charlie, facilities. it looks like we've been deceived in Ghana. But Charlie, facilities day. <laughs> Sky, <laughs> they're scandalous. Like, what policy, what is the sports, what's the sports development policy he's working with? What does that policy say about pitches? When they keep commissioning astroteps of all types, and then come to Ghana and tell us that, oh, you get me? Brokers are telling you that, so in like, fact, the astrotep we are using here, nobody's using you can it. Have an, you can have a recreation oh. astrotep, but if that becomes your main policy, policy for, and, and not policy de, de, not policy de jury, policy de facto, in terms of there's no law that says you make astroteps, but you are building them everywhere, and you are training a generation of footballers who don't even know how to use grass. Is it any surprise that your junior teams will lose? Yeah, so, and for him to, and Godfrey, the, the audio I heard, he sounded very... Mm like impressed with what the Moroccans were doing. Mm. But you are very scandalized by it. Of course, because it's, everything that he, he said there that you heard, have we not spoken about it here? Have I not spoken about the Astro Tefs before? <laughs> the fact that I have concerns about it. Now you go to Morocco and you're saying, oh, the people are telling you that oh, they have hybrid, they have this. Have I not sat here and walked you through the various levels of synthetic there, there are on the market? But for me, my being, me being scandalized was based on the fact that here is a deputy minister of sports, like Bernard said. This should not be news to Mr. Honorable Bobier. He was not wow. Be news to him at all. I, I did not surprise him. Just how advanced an African country. You actually made a show. You actually <laughs> did a show on Morocco. You actually spoke about Morocco. <laughs> Some time ago, about how Morocco was doing so well with their stadia, yeah, and that we yeah, shouldn't be surprised just, at their World Cup performance. Just infrastructure, okay, and the plan for it. Mm -hmm. So to come back and then be surprised that oh, somebody actually has a plan for this. It is not like once in a while they wake up and say, oh, national team take two million dollars and go. And then you are surprised that they are able to. You see, the thing is, you can do well by accident. Mm -hmm. And once in a while, we do that. You can't, you can't sustain success. But you accident. cannot sustain it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is where a lot of the countries who are doing well now are moving towards. They are working towards it. We are looking to do well by accident. And once we do well by accident, we tend to pat ourselves on the back for three years after doing well by accident. Ah, three years ago, we told you we'll do this. We'll do that. We'll do that. Meanwhile, by the time we are done patting ourselves on the back, everybody has moved on. So what, what surprised you the most about what he said? No, what surprised me was how incredulous he was and he sounded by what he had gone to see in Morocco. Is it a long insert? It's three minutes so we can't play. Yeah. Time is almost up. He, he, was, he was shocked. He was shocked. And it wasn't another thing I'll add. He wasn't alone. He went with members of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Sports. Huh? Some of them. He went with <laughs> <laughs> National Sports Authority boss, Professor Chumesi. Yeah. I have mentioned his name on this show before. If the president is listening to me. President of the FA. President of president the, of the Republic, Republic of Ghana. Professor Chumesi is the worst hey. in my 
17 years of practicing sports journalism, he is by far the worst. That's very strong. I'm, I, brother, do you know I choose my words carefully? I don't, I don't use words by heart. He's the worst National Sports Authority boss I have ever seen at work. Give, give evidence, at least two, to two minutes. The state of the infrastructure that he supervises should tell you. But is he a paying officer? Is he? No, 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 no. He supervises the, infra the sports infrastructure we have in this country. He went to Sunyani to go and inspect facilities and the supporters told him that we don't trust your timelines, so we will build our own infrastructure. You reviewed that story here last week, that the supporters in BA... What I'm trying to say is that is the one who is in charge of the infrastructure responsible for his state. No, yes, 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 yes. The maintenance. The maintenance of it. Everything not, is not, on him. Not the building of new infrastructure. The maintenance of it, you see, and he's in charge of sports development. Does he have because a budget? Because the various... Does he have a what? Budget. But we have, have, they, have they given him money? They just licensed pillow fighting as a sport in this country. Are you serious? Who does that? They've licensed pillow fighting. <laughs> are are you joking? Ah, <laughs> he's here in schools. Pillow oh, fight. Oh, stop it. Oh, not oh it's guys, look at what they are saying. Like you, see, you say you, you think... Oh, how? You have licensed pillow oh, fight. You are being facetious. We are not. Ah, pillow fight. <laughs> you see, what, the rigor that is required to do this job, he doesn't have it. A professor. He's he's a brilliant man let's, in his, let's, in, let's, his, in this no he's a brilliant man in his side you know, in, in his know, field. I've never you know, I've like, like the way like the way Sky helped me in my views on the no, on Bernard. the on the court matter that I amended no, my Bernard, position. I have not said I have not said <laughs> have to be careful. no I have not said he's a poor professor. Please, I can never say that. <laughs> no, no. About so you are saying that he's not. He running, earned the position. Of, I'm not speaking not about his sport. academic credentials. He's not. Yeah, in, but in his tenure as the National Sports Authority boss, but I can I can play back some of the interviews. But how much power does he have? He has a lot of power. Because I sitting here don't even know that NSA has that much power. He has a lot of power. On paper. Be you see, because he's the policy director. But what if the minister doesn't work with the policy? I'm, get I'm coming to that one. The minister we spent <laughs> we have addressed on this show. So, so <laughs> the, the deputy minister's incredulity at Morocco's speeches, you think, points to a much deeper problem? No, be yeah, because he should not be. What he went to see in Morocco is the, is the norm. The fact that it's only because we are not doing it yet. They've been told that maybe... So the they've been deceived. No, maybe they're not paying attention. Because there is no way you can be a high-level sports minister and be surprised by what you went to see in Morocco. It's standard. Mm. That is the way it's supposed to mm. be. Mm. 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 And we can link some of that to where the level of sports... Well, and I'll be back tomorrow. God willing.